everyone, it's Lane here from Ready Pet Go. Today I'm going to be pulling out one of my favorite new animals, my newly acquired albino ball python starburst. The other day we had her out and we noticed that starburst had this buildup of dirt around the lower jaw. She also had some inside of her mouth and she was excessively opening and closing her mouth as we had her out. Now, we were thinking that this might be a upper respiratory infection. We are by no means professionals. We are new to this and we recommend that if you have anything where you think it is an upper respiratory infection, seek a professional's opinion, especially a vet's. It can be very contagious if you have multiple snakes. It can be very easily transferred to them. So, with that, we're going to take a look ourselves because it can be somewhat easy to determine if there is an upper respiratory infection. The snake will tend to have an irregular breathing pattern. It'll have a wheezing kind of raspy sound to it. So if it does, it's pretty easy to, I mean, understand that that was what the case is. On the other hand, sometimes that's not the case and a excess buildup of saliva or mucus inside the mouth or around the mouth uh, can lead to be a upper respiratory infection. So we're thinking that maybe that is what was creating the dirt sticking to the lower jaw of Starburst, but we're not totally sure. So we're gonna pull her out and take a look and just give her uh, just a quick once over to see how she's doing. Starburst is incredibly docile. She is such a sweet snake. And she's been a great addition to the family. Hi, Starburst. So I'm going to pull her out. As you can see, it does look like she has some excess spit around her mouth. I'm just listening to her breathing. It does sound a little wet to me. Um, I think it's very possible that she does have an upper respiratory infection. It's not the wheezy raspy sound that is normally associated with it. It's more of kind of like a spit bubbly sound that I'm hearing from her. It's not consistent. It's just kind of every now and then. But the way that she has the right on the tip of her mouth, it does look like it's a bit of a mucus buildup. She is such a sweet, well, we think it's a she. But, and from that, there, there are some home remedies that um, you're able to do to take care of our eyes. I know that uh, bumping the temperature and humidity up can some, uh, sometimes fix that, but going to a vet and actually getting a medication is probably the best thing to do. It is very contagious, like I was saying, and it's the safest thing to do for anyone who has multiple snakes like we do. So we will um, tomorrow uh, we'll bump up the humidity and temperature. The humidity is pretty good. It stays about 70 already and uh, Starburst does have a humidity box inside so if she really wants to she can get into a higher humidity. Uh, we'll probably bump it up a little bit and bump up the temperature just a little bit and tomorrow we will actually um, open her mouth and see if we can see if it's really excessively um, built up with mucus. But isn't she so beautiful? She's such a sweet snake. 
All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and enjoy your evening.